When there's a fire in your house, you run outside and call the fire department. But that's not so easy on a jetliner at 35,000 feet, or on a ship at sea, or on a crowded bus speeding down a highway. In just the past six years, the National Transportation Safety Board has investigated cargo fires that resulted in the deaths of two flight crews and the loss of three airplanes, including two 747s. In 1996, a fire that started in the laundry room aboard a passenger ship in Alaska killed five. In 2006, the NTSB investigated a fire in the unmanned engine room of a Boston Harbor commuter ferry. In 2005, a bus fire caused by a burning tire killed 23 passengers. These are just a few examples of accidents that highlight the importance of fire safety in transportation. The NTSB, an independent federal agency, investigates accidents and makes recommendations to make travel safer for everyone. Improving fire safety in transportation presents unique challenges and our accident investigations have revealed deficiencies in all modes of travel. That's why the NTSB put the issue on its annual most wanted list of critical changes that are needed to reduce transportation accidents and save lives. From our investigations, we know early fire detection and suppression are key. There are steps that can be taken, such as placing fire detectors in the engine rooms of small passenger vessels, monitoring wheel well temperatures in buses, and detecting airplane cargo fires before they begin to burn through their containers. Fire safety issues can vary across modes, vehicle types, and operating conditions, and it is important to address each case individually. The common thread, however, is detecting a fire or impending fire as soon as possible and eliminating the threat effectively. Reducing the danger of fire and transportation will take everyone, including private industry, government, and the scientific community, to come up with the best solutions and materials for making our roads, rails, waterways, and skies as safe as they can be.